Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the 2024 version of the Kia Sonnet, which is actually the facelifted version of this car. Mechanically, it is more or less the same. The powertrains are the same, so nothing has changed on that front. In fact, the key looks quite nice. Let's straight away open the engine bay, and this is actually the X line in this matte shade, which looks really awesome. And there is the engine turbo GDI. There's no insulation here, which is quite surprising. So what they have done is they've made some cosmetic tweaks to this car and they've also gone ahead and given it a lot more features before, before what am I saying? But before we start, let me show you this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. This is the Involve Gel Can Crush. It's basically a perfume which will remind you of your childhood days. Firstly, it does not leak at all. Yeah, it just does not leak, which is the best thing about this perfume. The fragrance is just amazing. It's a mix of strawberry and berry, so yeah, red berries and the smell is just amazing it will definitely remind you of your childhood and obviously chewing gum so just click on the top right corner of your screen to get it with a 10 percent discount meanwhile you see the design is actually quite nice especially in this x liner it looks fantastic now what has changed the tiger nose grille has changed so some revisions here gets a 360 degree parking camera the lights have been revised gets this inverted l shape or is it a c shape i don't know led lights of course but the indicator is also LED, which is nice, which actually places, takes the place of the DRL. It gets a revised bumper. So a lot of revisions in terms of design, but it looks more or less the same because the overall design and the silhouette remains more or less the same. Obviously, it gets some aggressive cuts and creases, the Kia logo here. And that is the fog light, which is a little different here. You get front parking sensors too. That is the towing hook of the vehicle. From the side, it's just the alloy wheels, which is... I mean, which will be different. Now, this being the top of the line will cost around rupees 18.5 lakhs. The base range will cost around 9.4 lakhs, 9.5 lakhs on road Mumbai. These are my estimates considering the current prices of the car. 29 variants are available of this car. But obviously, now there'll be more variants because the diesel now gets a manual, finally. Tire size 215-60-16. Alloy wheel design looks nice. There is a camera here, 360 degree parking camera, a request sensor here. So with this surround view monitor now, you can actually locate your car as well. It gets rear discs now, which is fantastic. Revisions at the rear, you get a rear spoiler. This doesn't seem to be functional. It says, caution, do not load. Shark fin antenna, rear wiper washer. The lights are updated. These are vertical lights. Earlier, they were just horizontal. Connected light bar. The indicator seems LED as well. It says on it here, rear parking sensors. That is the camera. Where is the exhaust of the vehicle? It's there, hidden. I think this is the rear fog light. Let's open the boot of the vehicle, which is a bit of a task because I seem to have forgotten how it opens. But yeah, there, that's how it opens. Okay, this is quite light. Boot space is decent. There's a light placement here. Spare wheel is not full size. 195, 65, 15. It is not an alloy either. So steel wheel cost cutting has been done there. There is a subwoofer here. So it actually gets a 60, 40 split seat. So yes, seats now recline, which is a good thing. Space at the rear isn't very impressive. So yes, it's a small car, sub four meter. There you see knee room and leg room isn't the best. Under thigh support is also not the best because the seat is not very long. Rear AC vents, two USB-C charging sockets, some storage space here. Air purifier with virus protection is also there, obviously. You get magazine holders and you also get a manual sunshade here. Bose, it says right there. Okay, there is good amount of space in terms of storage and I love the red treatment here. There are three trim levels. So what do you think about the dashboard of this car? I think it looks quite nice, yeah. Kia is doing a fantastic job. Loading the car with a lot of features and center passenger does not get ahead. You get a center armrest. You can obviously recline the seat 60, 40. In fact, headroom. Well, it seems adequate enough for me, which is good. I like the color treatment here and now it gets six airbags as standard. So Kia has added a lot more features in this car. 25 safety features. It also gets ADAS level one. So it gets forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and it also gets LVDA. Don't pronounce that whole thing. It actually stands for Lead Vehicle Departure Alert. Electric seats, four way adjustable, but recline has, I mean, height adjustment has to be done like this. How do I push it behind? Electric FSL, electric bhool ma jao. Okay. This is the automatic. This one is the one liter turbo petrol engine, which produces 120 PS of power and 172 Newton meters of torque. Seven speed dual clutch automatic or a six speed IMT with a diesel which is personally my choice which is a 1.5 liter diesel engine produces 115 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque that one now gets a six speed manual gearbox there's always a six speed imt and there's a six speed torque converter automatic blind view monitor has been added this is the button to start the vehicle and it gets parking sensors also obviously traction control auto hold not auto hold yeah stop charge system is there of course and uh, it gets ambient lighting with sound mode lamp which is quite nice. Okay, there is a sunroof. 
seats are actually quite nice. I really like it. You have got twin cup holders here, storage space here. This does not move ahead or behind. Wireless charging pad, USB-C, normal USB 12 volt as well. And glove box is decent size too. So it says insufficient fuel in the car right now. Now this is actually a 10.25 inch screen. This is also a 10.25 inch screen, which is quite nice. And there's space for this awesome car perfume from Involve Senses right here. So this is, oh my God, it makes the car smell so fresh. Yeah? I love the bubble gum type smell. Yeah, the chewing gum, which I used to eat in school and get uh, thrown out of the class for eating chewing gum. <laughs> it reminds me of those days, which is quite good. Okay, this is a flat bottom steering wheel. Says Sonnet here. Meanwhile, uh, the horn. Okay, horn is nice and loud. I love the cluster, which has this blind view monitor. Meanwhile, it has functions are there. Let's get into this screen, which is slick to use. Okay, it has this 3D maps. Air conditioning controls are given here. Drive and traction modes. Seat ventilation is obviously there. And uh, the popular engine option obviously will be the 1.2 litre petrol, which produces 83 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque with a 5 speed manual gearbox. So, a lot of powertrain options. Okay, let's actually get into reverse. This is the reverse parking camera, and I can actually zoom it like this. Let me actually uh, get in the camera function from here. So, yes, I can get this 360 degree view which is fantastic, but it's not showing me the exact color of this car. So why does it have 29 variants? Because it has so many options. The usual bits, which is fast and easy and slick to operate. That's telling me for the forward collision warning as well. Where's the heads up display? It's not there in this car. Stop being so greedy, wanting all the features in the world. So yes, very loaded car, seven speaker system, whatnot. In terms of features, in terms of power and options, in terms of performance, fantastic. The Sonnet really excels. In fact, let's rev it a bit. Yeah, it's telling me which door is open. I turn off the car. It makes this sort of a sound. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's actually turn on the car. There. Do a full swipe up, boss. Do a full swipe up. Okay. Let's listen to some audio, should we? Okay. I don't know if radio is connected or not. No, it's not connected right now. So, let's get into radio. We can. Obviously, we can. Come on. Okay. I don't think stations are set right now. FM, station list. No, this is a new... Okay, it's there. Okay, nothing is saved. But yeah, audio system is good. I love this finishing on the steering wheel. Paddle shifters are also there. So, automatic gets paddle shifters. Automatic gets drive and traction modes. There are three traction modes. Eco, normal and sport. There are three... Sorry, there are three drive modes, three traction modes. Traction modes are snow, mud and sand. Which is good. So, this car rivals a lot of cars. Because there's obviously the brother from another mother the hyundai venue which is there then there's the xv300 which is going to get a facelift really soon the tata nexon is there the kiger the magnite which should get a facelift as well then there's the brezza there's the Fronks. so many rivals for this car but the top end variants are so pricey now now because obviously a lot of features and all that that you can get a mid level or a lower variant of the seltos as well and the seltos obviously is fantastic this also gets the seltos signature greenish color also i think so yeah that is it guys this is the kia sonnet facelift don't forget to check out this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. Yes, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to get yours now with a 10% discount, of course. Bye-bye.